Hey YouTube, Stove Mods is back once again with this little wood gas stove. I did an optimizing video the other day and I was not totally satisfied so I did some optimizing again and um, I want to do a quick video today and um, do a quick boiling test and before I do so I just want to show you what I changed. I replaced the bottom of the inner can with a grid because the problem is look this is really a grid and um, the bottom of the can I just had holes drilled into it and it had too much of a surface and the ash stayed on it and plugged it and after a while um, the performance dropped significantly so um, I had to change this and I'm gonna do one very last boiling test with this one I'm really excited Let's start. As usual, I'll take 500 milliliters of water and take the time how long it takes to get it boiling. See, it's brighter today, so the fire is not, not that visible, but it's really burning quite nice, so I'd say we start. We are at 7 minutes and 30 seconds, and we're almost there. It's almost boiling, let's wait. Another minute, see what's happening. This is at 9 minutes. In the very first test, after 10 and a half minutes, it wasn't boiling as much as today after 7 and a half. So the improved airflow made it boil at least 3 minutes faster. That is an improvement around 30%. You have to consider this is a small stove and the burning chamber is as half as big as the whole stove because it has two walls to make it a wood gas stove. This is really a difference in the late stage of the fire this is performing very very much better than yesterday just because the ash falls on the floor and doesn't, st doesn't stay on the surface of the grid because today there's no surface left. Um, but anyway, this is a small stove and you know small stove doesn't give that much heat so if you really want to boil something bigger I recommend a bigger stove. Um, now I'd like to answer the question if I would recommend a normal hobo stove or a wood gas stove and I have to say everything comes at a price and if you want to have a wood gas stove like this one now it burns really really nice and it burns almost smoke free so that is something that's really important because it earns, burns just more efficient and puts more air into the chamber but the chamber is smaller because you need two walls for that effect so honestly in my opinion if I was traveling I would use a usual hobo stove just to have a bigger burning chamber and not have the wood gas stove effect if I had if I needed something stationary like something in front of my I don't know house or something um, I would probably take a big wood gas stove when when size wouldn't be an issue so that's my opinion on that but usually I prefer my normal hobo stove because it's just much bigger and it creates more heat and you'll be done in within five minutes okay that was the last test for this wood gas stove I hope you enjoyed I have to say as you see grid is really important okay bye folks I hope you enjoyed 